For progressive wave on the spring, a string, what is meant by the amplitude? You know, interestingly, they mention a string. So it's good to maybe mention the, the string. So progressive means, amplitude means, maximum displacement. But to be safe, I'm going to add on a little bit of context of a particle on the string. So that's additional detail right there. So this one can give one mark lah. Okay, next part. Light from laser got wavelength. Calculate the period, which is T, of the light wave. For lambda, lambda, there's not many equations, so we only have V equals to F lambda. Or, since frequency is 1 over T, we can substitute that in and get V equals to lambda over T. Yes. This is light. Light is electromagnetic wave. So you have a speed of light. So we do know the, the speed of light. It's 3 times 10 to the 8. If you don't memorize this, go check out the data formula sheet or check out your calculator how to how to press it. <clears throat> okay, so 690 must convert to uh, yeah, nanometers. 10 to negative 9. Period. Okay, so we can put the period at the end here. This would give us a 2.3 times 10, negative 15. So we can write that. 2.3 times 10, negative 15. Everything's in 2SF, right? Yeah, 2SF is safe. Okay, so this is A1. Mm, I guess we could count them separately, lah, okay? This one is one mark. This one is one mark. If you did everything in one step, like you just wrote this, that's two in one. You could call it that. Okay. Here comes our double slit interference experiment. So we got a two source interference experiment. Uh, okay, so we're going to have bright fringe, dark fringe, bright fringe, dark fringe. What what wavelength is this? Red color. Okay, so we're going to see something like this. And light is shown, interference fringes are seen, blah, 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 blah. Here they're telling you what all these alphabets are. A, D, X, and things like that. And I guess we can... What, what, what do they want us to do with this? Huh? Oh, got graph! Oh, it's an experiment. Okay, so the graph of D over X is shown. So you are changing D and you measure X. Kind of like you move this screen closer and further, closer and further, and you see how far apart these fringes are. That's the experiment. Okay, you move it further, 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 further. So the first thing they ask us is, gradient of graph is G. Just give it an alphabet. Determine expression for the separation of the slits. Whenever you see this gradient, gradient, graph, graph question, no, you start off with the double slit equation. What is the double slit equation? Write it down. Lambda equals to AX over D. This equation can be arranged into a straight line equation, which you can see above. So the first thing you check is, what is on your Y axis? This. What's on your X axis? D. So you rearrange. X equals to lambda D over A. So if you can't recognize the equation yet, do one more step. X equals to D, okay, and lambda over A. So this is where you can see, okay, this is on our y-axis, this is on our x-axis. So this one must be our gradient M. Y equals to Mx. Got plus C or not? No plus C. There's no plus minus anything. So there should not be any intercept, which is correct here. So you want to find what's the gradient, or what's the separation for the slits, we check the gradient. So gradient equals to lambda over A. So A equals to lambda over gradient. So right here, lambda over G. This is one mark. The other mark, probably using this one, lambda equals to AX over D. Okay, next. Experiment is repeated with the slits of separation 2A. Wavelength of the light is unchanged. Sketch a graph to show the, the graph for the new experiment. Hmm. The slit separation increased to 2A. What does that affect? Look at our equation. It affects the gradient, you know. So I'm going to write some key points here. Since gra uh, gradient 
is lambda over a, you can kind of say gradient is proportional to 1 over a. So your separation of slit is become 2a, 2 times. So this one, in proportion, will also change by that amount, half. So we need to draw half the gradient on our graph up there. How to draw half the gradient? Luckily, there is no intercept. We can just say, oh, this is the highest point. Okay, now we half that and we draw a line. So this will be the new graph for when your separation is 2a. So kind of you draw like that one, there's one mark already. Lah. Okay, so if you draw something below the original line, that's okay, that's already, you already get a mark. The second one is if you end at half of original endpoint. Oh yeah, behind my head already. Nah. So this one, half, uh, you drop by half. Two marks. Okay. I think that's all for this question. They didn't give too much calculation. I'm very surprised they did not give any wave explanation. So, hmm. All right. Never mind. That's all for this question.